Hi guys, it's Miss Shapslot and I have a haul today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a regular, welcome back. And today is just a mishmash of stuff. Um, some designer. I did buy myself a Christmas present today, which will be a whole video in and of itself. Uh, probably tomorrow. Um, if not tomorrow, then it'll be up Wednesday. But in the meantime, I do have a small, well, it's, there's a lot of little things, so it's not too small. <laughs> so grab yourself a snack or a drink and let's get started. So the first thing is super random. It's one of these little junk bags. Uh, there was only one thing in here that I seen that I wanted. Um, and this was $1.99 and I believe these were 99 cents that day. Let me... So, I'll just show you what's in here. So, this is Banana Boat. Oh, it expires not until 223, so that's fine. Ultra Sport, 30, 30 proof. I mean, these are pretty pricey. Doesn't look used, feels new. So, that. This is a some sort of sample balancing cleanser. I won't use that. A little toothbrush. It's not for me, but I'll put it aside for my niece. And then we got another banana boat full. I mean, those are worth two bucks right there. This is great to throw in my thing. Uh, stress relief, body wash, eucalyptus spearmint. Didn't buy it for that either. Then there's some lip smackers, which they are new. That one's not. I don't trust anything that's not sealed. Um, so, yeah, no, gross. These will go directly in the garbage. Uh, these, let's see what we have here. We have a little bottle of Johnson's Head to Toe Baby Wash. Put that away for my goddaughter. We got some kids flossers. Put those away for my goddaughter. This Gressa Skin Purifying Oil. And then this Hourglass Arch brow micro sculpting pencil that is brand new I never heard of this brand so I have to look it up um but I'll give it a I'll give it a go hourglass and last but not least this is what I picked this whole junk bag up for was this QMS Medio Medi Cosmetics lip liner corrector this stuff is fairly expensive. Oh, fancy. So, I picked this up. I don't know if I'm going to resell it or try it. The expiration date is 22. So, I picked that up just for that. <clears throat> this stuff is really expensive, but I definitely got my $2 worth or dollar worth, whatever it was. Uh... This guy, I don't like to eat like goulash and soup and stuff out of a big bowl because then I tend to put more in it. So I like, this is actually pretty big, but it's super cute. Just be, it's from, what is it, BWTC? I'm not sure who that is. And this was, I believe it was like $2. Um, but I thought it was really cute and it has the store lids. It's a super mug. Uh, oh, you can bake in it. You can microwave, bake, storing, defrosting. Okay, BPA free. Anyway, I love it. So I picked that up for myself. Merry Christmas. <laughs> These I pick up whenever I see them. Um, they're usually for a dollar less. They're oh, it's an Oakley case, but I love that it has this little wrist strap. So I pick these up whenever I see them. Um, I think I have enough for myself now. I only wanted two, just a black one and a white one. And then the rest, when I sell a good pair of sunglasses, I will ship those, ship them in that. Unless they already have a case. Uh, let's do these shoes right here. Jack Rogers. They are a very good brand. These are in really, really good condition. These are $6.98. They don't sell as high as they used to, so I don't buy them for resale anymore unless they're special. 
these I just picked up for myself because I do like them. But yeah, these used to, a pair of these would usually get like 40 bucks. Um, I don't think it's anywhere near that now. So those we will keep for ourselves. Um, okay. Let's do this over here. So my obsession with candles continues. I like these pink and red ones for Valentine's Day or if Easter, maybe not the red ones, but I picked these up. I'm done buying candles now. <laughs> I have quite enough. Um, I love my first foremost favorite are my acrylic Lucite uh, candles with the flex in it. I have some from my grandmother that had red, gold, and silver, and then I have a bunch of gold ones that I picked up. So anyways, are these pillar candles and then just these red ones. I really like these pink ones though. So I paid a dollar for those. Some of the candles at some of the places, like um, Amvets, my local Amvets, I'm so sad. I love everyone that works there, but the prices have just gotten so, so incredibly high. And I know part of it is because they have no one working there. No one wants to work, so they are so behind on um like donations and stuff there it's just from ceiling to wall or ceiling to floor packed even like their aisles are packed with donations that they can't get out because they don't have anybody to work so the prices on what is coming out is higher probably unless it's just going to be that way from now on but i'm thinking that the prices are higher because they can't get the volume out that they normally do because they have nobody to work which i feel really bad for them um, and if you guys are watching, you know, I will, uh, I will donate my time to price your purses and jewelry. <laughs> um, free of charge. Uh, okay. So yeah, so the prices have gotten really bad, but anyways, at Amvets and Goodwill, they sell their candles for like, like those four candles would be like $6 and I don't know why. Is there like, is it, I don't know. All right, anyway, moving on. <laughs> we have some Hawaiian Tropic Exotic Breeze Fragrance Mist. This stuff smells amazing. I paid $2 for it. Oh, it's for me. I love it. So I'm keeping that. This stuff, I looked up and I believe it, um, I don't remember the price that it's worth, but it is called English Laundry Oxford Blue Femme. And it is the... 3.4 ounce bottle and I can't tell how much is in there like I'm trying to look but it feels full and it is the parfum and this was $4.98 oh there's a Marshall's tag on it for $22.99 yeah so I think it was only worth like 20 bucks 25 dollars which is fine because I only paid five for it it does smell really nice so we'll see um, I picked up this Coors Santorini Grape Renewing Body Cleanser. This was $1.98. This stuff is fairly expensive. I'm going to try this for myself. Sometimes I like to keep the good stuff for me. Uh, this is the Burt's Bees Rosemary and Lemon Hand Cream with Shea Butter. As you can see, Miss Coco got, <laughs> got a hold of the box. And this was $0.99, cents, brand new. This was going to be... A stocking stuffer. Eh, it still might be. It's just got Chi Chi's seal of approval on it. That's all. Uh, I picked this up. It's really pretty. It has the glass um, pieces on the finial, and it was two ninety eight. And it's an ice cream ice scoop, and I need an ice scoop so bad. So I picked this up, um, and we will be using this for Christmas. Christmas, we are having a. A jammy jam and princess casserole and her family and my daughter and her roommate and my cousin a few other people are coming over and we're just gonna hang out in our jammies and play poker and <laughs> give gifts and drink and be merry and enjoy each other's time because i know when the next coming months that it's going to be rough again so i'll take what i can get i did pick this up for $2.48. And I love it. It's rustic as heck looking. I don't know if it was meant to look that way. Or if it's actually really old. I think it's actually really old. 
And I love the aesthetic of old and blingy. Like, if somebody was to describe my decor, it's a little bit of vintage. And by vintage, it could be Art Deco. It could be... Um, I really, really love the Hollywood Regency era. That kind of stuff, like the brass and the, and the crystals and stuff like that. Mixed with rustic stuff like this. I just, I love it. Like this next to a something blingy. It just, I love it. So yeah, my, my style is all over the place, but it is my style. So, you know, it can't be like everybody else. Uh, this I picked up and this was, I believe this was $3.99. Uh, and it is this really pretty genuine sterling silver horse the uh a bead and then the horseshoe i do not wear dress or bracelets like this so i'm either going to sell this or give this away it had a, its original price was like a hundred dollars yeah hundred dollars so i will definitely be selling or giving this to someone i just don't wear those kind of bracelets unfortunately Okay, so now here's some jewelry that I have. We'll start with, well, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. I picked this up. This was a dollar. Let me double check what this was. 925. Oh, wait, this goes with this. I'm lying. It wasn't a dollar. I mean, it was, but you'll see. It goes with that. Okay, these I picked up for $4.98 a piece. Um, let's see, are these all the same? These are all the same. This one's different. Okay, so they're sterling silver prayer boxes. And I paid four nine five dollars a piece. I bought five of them. Four are the same and one is different. Um, this is what four of them look like. It's got the little latch there with some hearts. Super pretty. These are 925 and then I don't know do you write a prayer down and put it in there or do you say it and close it I don't know but they look like that excuse my nails and those were five dollars a piece and then this one was also five and this is the only one that is different this is the square one and again, it is 925. And it opens like that. And these are prayer boxes. Perfect for li like a charm bracelet or a necklace. I'm probably going to keep one, give one to my daughter and sell the other three. Uh, this, these two... This one I thought was really pretty. It is this brass. Oh, really close up home. Brass necklace with like leaves on it. And this was $2.98. I love the I love that look. So I picked that up for myself. Nice little choker. Um, this one, I think they missed these because this was $7.99 and it is this gold, it's pretty heavy, chain and it is marked, oh wait, not this one. I don't know what this mark is. It looks like a T. Does anybody know? Or a tree what that is if this is anything I don't know I haven't tested it yet but at the same one I did get this one that was $3.99 and this one's beautiful I love this and this one is $9.25 but I don't know what this is maybe it's just costume I'm sure it's probably just costume but I just never seen 
Like it looks like a, a T. Or a uterus. I don't know. Uh, this I picked up for five. And I think I'm going to give this away on my Facebook group. Um, and it is a martini glass, a shoe, a lipstick, and a purse. And this is... 925. Hold on, where's the mark? There we go. It's marked there, and then all the pieces are marked. One second, let me find where they're marked. I know they're marked. I saw them marked. Oh, like this one is marked on the heel. And this one is marked. I swear they're all marked, I promise you. Um, but I'm not going to waste my time looking at every single one. Here's this one. But they are marked. So I think I'm going to give this away on my Facebook group. Because we have grown quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. If you are not a member and want to, the, the link is in the description box below. Also, my link for shopping. I do sell on Poshmark and um, Mercari. I put more on Mercari because of Poshmark's pricing. So if you're interested, I can always make a listing for you if you see something you want. Um, and those are also in the description box below, both of the links. Okay, this was $4.98. I thought it was really pretty. It does have a sterling silver clasp, and then it has these, I think they're called potato pearls. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Mother pearl? Oyster something or other? I don't know. And then this really cool cross, and I believe mother pearl? and some other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so, but I thought it was very pretty. And we're way up close again. And I think I'm going to resell this because I just think it's so pretty and I won't probably wear this. So I want to give someone else a chance to own her. Uh, this is a gorgeous ring that I got and it has mother of pearl and it is Silpata. I paid $11 for this, but still a great price. It has the marking for Silpata. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, there it is. And it fits. I have a couple other Silpata rings, and they do not fit. But, ooh, it's so cute. It's so pretty. I love it. Look at that. And if I'm wrong about Mother of Pearl, please let me know. But I thought that's what it was. Opal. Okay. Let me take that off. I talk so fast. I need to slow down. But this is how I normally talk in real life. So it's it's just habit. Uh, I Even since I was little, me and my one of my BFFs, Lorena, she talks so fast just like me. And my mom, would we would be talking to each other. And she would just be like, oh, my God. Like, you guys talk so fast. And just, oh. It's the way we talk. Um, okay, moving on, moving on. I did pick this up for a gift. Um, this was, I don't remember how much it was, but it's for a gift. But I did have this that I bought inside of it. <gasps> wow, so pretty. It is a, I feel like we are not getting any light over here. There we go. Let's try that. Um, there we go. It is a... It was $9. And it has all these different colored... I believe these are all different colored turquoise. I could be wrong, but I believe that's what it is. It is 925, and it is J. King. And I know that because of this heart. Thanks to Princess Casserole for teaching me her ways. And it is marked something 925. Um... I don't know. Let's see. DR925. So this was $9. I think it's gorgeous. Such a cute piece for the summertime. So I love that. And that's for me. And then this we're going to use as a box. Um, I cannot wait for Christmas. I got such good gifts this year. I'm super excited to give them. And it's not about like how much they cost or anything like that. I just, I'm, I hope that they make the people that receive them happy. 
Uh, this box was twelve or fifteen dollars. I think it was twelve dollars fifteen with shipping, and I ordered this, and this is what I got. So okay. there was a couple of things I wanted, and a couple of things I didn't like. The this is what I ordered it for were these two bangles, and this one is the rose gold color pink. It's more of a pink. Then the rose gold. I feel like the rose... Uh, yeah, maybe not. I don't like the really pink gold. It looks silly. And this one is 925 Cubic Zirconia Tycoon is what it says inside. And then it has a little crystal and a CZ there. This thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. Hang on. Let me put it on. And these are for me. <laughs> Um, well, at least this one I'm definitely keeping. It's so pretty. So this one, this one I think is too big. Yeah, this is too big for me. I can't wear this because it'll slide right off my hand. So sadly, I'm going to have to resell this. I believe this, this one is just Mark 925 with a circle. And China. And it, it's so pretty. And then it has the double clasps and the scrolling detail on the side. I think it's very pretty. So these, that one I'm going to resell. Uh, this is, was this marked or not marked? Let me see. Let me look, let me look. This does not have a mark that I could see, but it looks really old. And it has like where there was once a chain here, but it looks like this and I don't know what it is but I thought it was really really pretty like it's not marked anywhere but I that feels like it's something like the opal or something I don't know it's very unique and this was part of the lot. It does. It is not marked anywhere. And it, yeah, I don't know. I gotta wait till my uh, jewelry guru comes over. <laughs> but if you know anything about this, let me know. It seems really old. Uh, these also were in the lot, and we got this snail brooch with like a fake pearl inside of him not marked i do not believe no he's not we got this now this is marked something and my eyes cannot see <laughs> what it is marked but it looks like this and this is marked let's see can we can we see what that says All right, what do we have? Um, I know. Stop moving, girl. I can't. I don't know what it says. It says... <sighs> Damn it. I don't know. I'm going to have to look. But I'm thinking it's either gold or gold filled, maybe? So this one has to be checked out. And this one is not marked. But it is cool. And this one does look old too. And it's like this little, almost like a badge or a coat of arms. With pearls and scrolling. And can't be too old because of the clasp, I think. But we're going to put these three away to have them looked at. And I will let you know in the comments below. I will pin it to the top. When I find out what that pin says. Some of you jewelry people may already know. And you're screaming out at the thing. Because I do that when I when somebody doesn't know something. And I know. And I'm like, it's blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, shoot. We forgot to do clothes. All right. We'll do clothes now. So that's the jewelry. That's the jewelry segment of my program. Um, I just get some clothes. This one I did pay full price for. It was $6. It's amazing. It's too freaking small for me. And I'm really upset about it. 
It is a Michael, Michael Simon, Michael Simon Studio. Oh, wait, I forgot you're still way up here. Um, Michael Simon, their, his sweaters sell pretty well. Resell, and it, uh, it looks like this. Very Chanel-esque. Um, I don't know what kind of knit this is. It's in great condition. I paid $6. I'm so, so upset that it does not fit. So I'm going to resell it or give it to Miss Casserole because I know it'll look super duper cute on her. I'm super duper jealous. This was $9. I paid half for this and it is a plus size beaded or sequin number. I'm going to remove this shoulder pads and give it a try. And if I like it, we'll keep it. I just thought it would be really cute tucked in to like a maxi skirt or a pair of jeans. I love sequins. I love them. I love this matte-esque uh, rose gold and the gold. Love this. Like, you have to try stuff on because people are always like, oh, that's so ugly. And then they try it on they're like, oh, my God, this is so cute. Like, you can't judge a book by its cover. So, like, you take these shoulder pads out and you have a pair of black pants and you tuck this in with a cute bracelet and you are good to go. Okay. Uh, these I did pick up. I have, I think I have three or four of these. These were all half price too. These were, uh, three fifty. They're like a, a mock, uh, Gucci, if you will. Um, so if you're interested, I will be reselling these. Um, I have, I have two for sure that I'm selling. I'm keeping one for myself cause they look really, really cute. Uh, and they're just, they're, I don't believe there's a size, like, this definitely reminds me of something you would buy on, like, Wish or uh, DH Gate or one of those. Yeah, there's no size in here. But I would say it's between a, it's kind of like a one-size-fits-all deal. Like, it's either an oversized small or a large. Or a, a smaller extra large. So, I have two of those that I will be listing if anyone's interested. This is just another one. They're really cute. I like it. I'm keeping one for me. Um, okay. Then we have this monster of a wool what's it called? Scarf. Whew. I have been on the go just constantly. Constantly, constantly. So busy. Um, this is by Steve Madden. Oh, it's polyester. It feels like wool, but not like the itchy kind. That's probably why it's not itchy, because it's not. But look at this mammoth scarf. Like, oh, it's so cozy. Like, I was thinking of just keeping it for around the house. Um, but I don't know. I sold the matching jacket to that. It was Steve Madden. It was so pretty. I think I got like 60 or $80 for it. And I paid, I think, 12 I wound up finding some really nice jackets this year and sold Sold most of them. Some are still up. Um, okay, so we've seen this. I picked up this belt. The belt was a dollar. At the same place that I bought the... This guy. I picked this up. It is not an Hermes. But it does have an H and it looks like one. Good enough for me. And it's by C Wonder. Which I'm, I'm really... I don't understand why... Oh, it's reversible too. So it can be black or it can be the snakeskin. I prefer the snake skin. I don't know why they they put an H on there. I really don't, but you know what? This excites me. Did not know this. I have a bunch of Gucci and Louis Vuitton um, these things, and I wonder if that's what somebody else did that go to this kind of belt. So I can change them out and put them in here. Like my Louis Vuitton, I can just change it and put it out. Oh, girl, I'm excited now. Yee! <laughs> okay, well. So that was a dollar. And my excitement is unparalleled. That's not the right word, but it's fine. <laughs> I am like delirious. I cannot wait until December 26th. Uh, I picked this up for $25. It is a Louis Vuitton, vintage Louis Vuitton. Uh, shoulder strap. Does have some damage. I did fix it. I bought another one that had damage in the same type of way. Fix that one. If for any reason it ever does become unusable, I can still use this to make wristlets, and I would use these for to make another strap. 
So I picked that up. Let's see. These. This. I don't know. Where did I get this one? Let me see. These vintage fanny fa Fanny facts. Fanny facts. These vintage fanny packs are in high demand. Oh, okay. I paid $2.99 for this. And it is a vintage 90s, I believe. 80s or 90s. Fila. Fanny pack. What do they call them? Bum bags now? It might not even be vintage. It looks vintage to me. It definitely looks vintage to me. So I snagged that and I will be reselling. Reselling that. Uh, this was from the same place that I got the belt and the other thing. And it is this Mark by Mark Jacobs nylon bag. It needs to be cleaned. It is not in perfect condition. I'd probably just sell it for 15 bucks um, after I clean it. The, as you can see, like this stuff is starting to peel. It just needs to be hung with something heavy to reshape, reshape the strap. But other than that, I mean, once I clean it up, there's nothing, it's not bad shape. No holes, no rips, no tears. The inside's good. I think for $15 for a little crossbody would be totally worth it. So I picked that up. Okay. Now, these... I do not like to spend money on two things. One are gift bags, unless it's from the dollar store. And anyone who doesn't buy their gift bags from the dollar store is crazy because they're so cheap. They're a dollar and they're nice. Instead, like you go to Walmart anywhere. They're like $3, $5, $8. Not going to happen. So two things I do not like to spend money on or waste money on is gift bags that you're going to throw away. Sometimes for the people do reuse them, which is fine. Um, and cards, gift cards, or birthday cards, Christmas cards. Ugh. Hate it. I hate buying them. I, it's such a waste of money, unless it's for like, you know, like a 40th birthday or a, a 20th anniversary, something important, then fine. But otherwise, what does everybody do? Some people save their cards. Most people do not. So I just don't want to, and $6 for a birth, uh, uh nope. So what I do do is if I see a nice, bag, I will buy it for, if it's a couple of dollars, I will buy a nice bag that can be reused, like a nice 31 bag or something along those lines. If it's something that they can get the gift in and still use it, then fine. So for gift card or for birthday cards though, or whatever, I'll just do a gift card or a pair of earrings. I just, I just find it insane. And I don't like to get cards. You know, if we do a group, um, group birthdays. So if they want to buy me one card, that's fine. Everybody signs it. I just, cards just infuriate me. Okay. So with that being said, blah, blah, blah. I picked this up as a, one of those. It was $5.89, brand new Vineyard Vines. And it's a nice canvas bag and it has buffaloes where I'm from. If you see the buffaloes. So it's a it's a, I think this is a personalized one. I did think I seen something about it being personalized. Cause you can't, I don't think you can just buy this. So I thought like something like this, I would much rather get this as a gift bag than a gift bag that you're going to throw up. But, 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 but for the most part, the gift bags that I do get, we usually reuse. My friends all do. Um, but again, I, I, you know, even if it's like a cute little cooler bag or something that I see, I like to pick those up. <clears throat> so that's why I picked this up, but it is Vineyard Vines. So custom collection. That's what it is. I knew I seen custom somewhere. So I love this. Um, I will not keep it. I will not keep it <laughs> because I will not use it even though I want to, cause I'm like, Oh, it's so cute. But no, 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 no. Okay. Next. <laughs> Usa, I am hyper as shit. Sorry. Uh, okay. So this is, I am on like three cups of coffee and a whole lot of adrenaline because I have, after this, I have to package up like 20 something purchases and I need to sort. My husband did all the laundry in the house and I have to sort and put that away. That is the bane of my existence. And then... I get to relax. So by by midnight, 1230, I should be relaxing. Okay, so anyway, this is a Michael Kors bag. 
it has the pony hair, calf hair, whatever it is there. It's brand new. It is not my style. So you can use it with or without the crossbody. But I do think it's so chic for that new cowboy look that's fairly popular right now. Um, again, it was brand new. It still has the thing inside. And it was $10.89, which I thought was still a good deal. And you could take these off and just use it as a clutch. I think it's so cute. It's just not my style. Um, so I'm going to resell that as well. This is another one I will be reselling. And this is... This was $9.99, Michael Kors. Um, I believe there was some sort of special is why I bought it. Because normally... I try to stay away from Michael Kors and Coach unless there's something special like the other one. But this one was really nice. It's in really good condition. No real wear. Nothing major. It has the gold stri straps. Let's see the inside. Inside is good. Good, good, good. Yeah, this is in really, really good condition. So I will be reselling that one. And then we got two more left. And I'm keeping these two. And what? She's keeping something that's not Gucci or Louis Vuitton? Yes, I am. <gasps> this was at the same store as the Michael Kors. <clears throat> It was just hanging there. So they have special priced items. Like this one had the special price tag of $9.99. And then all their other purses are $4.99. This is the like the third time I've found um, Rebecca Mink off there for $4. This was $4.99. Brand freaking new. And it is this gorgeous. And I'm wearing this. Um, probably tomorrow we are doing our anti-Christmas Christmas shopping where we walk around and laugh at everybody that's freaking out and the kids that are crying and we go walk through the mall and we go have beers at different restaurants. A <laughs> um, little late this year that we're doing it. but So it is this. It's brand new. There is no wear. Zero wear. It is a, like a rose gold gold. It's got like rose gold and regular gold. I believe this is the Mini Mac. It's either the Mac or the Mini Mac. I don't remember. But, yeah. Like, what? For $4.99? Absolutely. freaking lootly And I will not be selling this. This is definitely an amazing holiday bag. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Last but not least, I picked this guy up on Mercari, I believe it was. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up. It was 50 which is kind of high for me. Um, I can fix these with some leather, uh, dye paint, whatever. Um, but I wanted something small, even though I have one. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, it was $50, so I grabbed it. It's not that bad. It's cute. It just needs to be cleaned up. Once it's clean, she's going to look great. I'm going to spruce up her leather. Would you have paid 50 Let me know what you think. And that concludes my haul for today. If you guys are still here, I love you. Thank you for watching me. You guys are the best. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you one more time at least. I'm trying to get more in. I really am. Um, I will see you one more time before Christmas and be able to say, you know, happy holidays. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, but happy holidays for whatever holiday it is you celebrate. Um and yeah, I'll see you next time. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe.